Welcome to this podcast is making me thirsty. The number one destination for Seinfeld fans. This is two up and two down. Today's episode is the parking space. Here's our producer, Chris, to start us off. All right. Today we're going to discuss the parking space. A great season three episode. Uh, Tony, starting with you. What do you got for your first one up? I mean, this is loaded with ups. This is a uh, this is this is a top episode, as we all know. Uh, so many ups to choose from. Um, I, I'm going to go with my my first one up. <laughs> my <laughs> it's a small little bit. I don't know. It makes me laugh every single time I see it. Is when Jerry and Kramer act out the boxing and they're dancing around when they're ready to watch the fight. I don't know what it is about that scene. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm just going to give that my first thumbs up, the Jerry and Kramer boxing act out. Hey, yeah, excellent. I mean, whatever makes you laugh during an episode, uh, absolutely. So, Chris, your first one up. Yeah, that's a great up. And um, not similarly, you're the same uh, area in the kitchen. It's Elaine's monologue about the car chase. Uh, it's peak Elaine, uh, you know, obviously early season three. The way she swindled Jerry and it, it reminded me a little Kennedy. bit of like kind of the Lynn Wick. Uh, just a, a brilliant monologue um, chasing off the teenagers. I think it was a gun and asking for Hennigan's. There's so much packed into that, into that little scene um, that it's got to be Elaine. Thumbs up. Okay, great. Good one. Uh, Tony, back to you for your second one up on this episode. Yeah, and I, I just I wrote down the exact same thing. It was it was a Van Wick esque uh, monologue by Elaine. It, it can be easily chosen as a thumbs up. I'm gonna go with my other thumbs up though, um, just because it's it just every time. It, it, there's so many to choose from here. I hate to leave any of these out, but you just you can't you can't leave out man that Michael Jordan sure sure is phony. You can't leave that out. That's the line of of the series from one of the lines of the series for me, not the line, but definitely one of them for sure. Man, the Michael Jordan sure is phony by Moffat. Uh, that's my second thumbs up. Actually. Yeah. We love, uh, Lee Ehrenberg. Uh, he was on our podcast. So great one there. Uh, Chris, your second pick for an up. Yeah. I mean, listen, there's so many ups on this show. It's, it's incredible, but I'm going to go with just Kramer in general. I mean, from, the fighting scene Tony just talked about, you have to know everything to ignoring Elaine when she walked in. I mean, I, I laugh every time he just sneaks by her, like uncomfortable. Um, him saying, I don't care for that. Sorry. I mean, that's just, he gets right in it. And then he, fi you know, finishes the episode um, calling the woman pregnant. Just it, it's Kramer at his best. Um, and he interacts with each and every character. In, you know, including Newman, including Moffat, including the big three. I mean, Kramer knocks it out of the park in this episode. Absolutely. He's the uh, straw that's thirsty drink in this one. Uh, so now let's go to our downs. Tony, what is your first down on this? Uh, I mean, we're, we're picking down to this episode. You're really nitpicking. I mean, there's not much to do here with downs. Uh, I, I, here's my down for this episode. Jerry with the little kid on the street, you know, oh, dad's closing the store. No, no, I didn't mean that. Jerry kind of lets it slip and the, the kid gets a little mad. Some, I, I don't, I don't love it. Um, you know, I, I don't hate it either. Right. This is an amazing episode, but if I'm going to nitpick, I'm going to take the, uh, the, the Jerry and the kid interaction, if you will, that's, that's my thumbs down on this one. Okay. All right. Uh, on to you, Chris, your first, uh, down for this one. I do laugh at that scene, though, every time. I, I don't know why. But, um, but again, you got to be nitpicky in ep these great episodes. And I'm going to nitpick, too. I mean, it's something stupid. But uh, Jerry having a boxing party, and he has Coca-Cola and chips. Come on, they're adults. <laughs> yeah, where's the beer? Have some, have some beer and wings, man. That's my one down. Okay. I agree with that. Um, Tony, over to you. You're second uh, down for this episode. I know that it's tough to come by, but what do you got? Yeah. My, my one, my other down on this is another Jerry and it's, it's really just a joke, a one liner, something about his one liners. that don't always sit well with me. The, uh, the, the old, uh, head first. That's what you do when you're pulling a bank job. I just never understood the joke. It doesn't even really make sense to me. Like how you park a certain, the bank job. Wouldn't you want to come uh, come out of a bank, you know, back in and then come out. I don't know. Pulling in headfirst, a bank job, just 
just a throwaway line, but I'm nitpicking here on, on a great episode. So that, that's my thumbs down, the old bank job joke. <laughs> All right. No, we like your analysis on that. Excellent. Uh, Chris, what's your final down for the, the uh, parking space? Yeah, nitpicking. You, you know, I don't even know if I like this of what I'm going to say, but it's the, and again, it's just being a historian of the show here, the George and Elaine dynamic. You know, I, I like Elaine with Kramer, and maybe it's just I like Elaine better with Jerry and Kramer versus George. Uh, I, 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 I don't I, know if this would chime I, in, but I. Chime. I mean, I, I again. I'm car, really. Are you talking about in the car with the parking and everything? And I'm really, really, I'm really nitpicking. Yeah, nitpicking. I'm, I'm nitpicking. thinking right afterwards, but uh, again, I'm nitpicking here because I'm thinking about you know dynamics between Elaine and other characters. Um, I like, I like her better with Jerry and Kramer in that capacity. I'm not knocking this. This is my one. It's like that. Okay, uh, no issues there. Uh, seems like you guys struggled with downs for this episode, so I'm going to anticipate some high grades here. Tony, let's go over to you first. What's your final grade for this episode? Yeah, this is an A. I mean, if you're talking about an episode, you got to give this an A. Uh, it's it's it can't be too much lower than that. I don't think it's quite an A plus. Um, I wouldn't argue an A minus. I think anything below that, you, you're gonna might have an issue with me. I mean, this is an A. I'm gonna give this parking spot um, a solid A, solid 95 somewhere is around there. All right, great, uh, Chris. Your final grade? Hands down an A. I mean, I'm nitpicking about George and Elaine, and I I, I love their their scene together. But I had a nitpick. But I mean, you know, from the little kid to even Newman Newman joining to. Uh, uh, got him drawn up like on the put the, the uh, who's the parking guy drawn up like Nate, I had him as one of my pauses. I didn't Nate. use it. Never mind who Nate. I am. I knew who I am. You know who you right. are. It's I mean, an amazing line. I should have used it as my thumbs right. up. Right. I, did, I didn't. I didn't even mention Moffat. I mean, it was just uh, an incredible episode. Uh, it, really hard to criticize. Easy, easy A. All right, excellent. Uh, well, thank you guys for your input on this. Uh, we enjoyed the analysis. On to the next episode.